Fujiano came in a rap game pulling millions of views that even got him a once in a lifetime chance to sign the Gucci Man's label 1017. But Fujiano could have lost everything. With doing over three years in prison, he was even involved in a shooting during one of his live performances and being involved with over seven attempted murder charges that could have cost them life in prison. This is Top Trend TV. And this is the criminal history and biography of Fujiano. Kwame Brown, aka Fujiano, grew up in the Greensboro area of Georgia, a small town with a population of less than 4,000 people. Growing up with five brothers and four sisters, the difference between him and them? Fujiano hopped in the streets at an early age, at only the age of 14. And this was the first time he got locked up for a robbery gone wrong. Unsure of the details, but he did a little bit over a year in juvenile hall. And after Fujiano got out at the age of 15 was the first time he ever met his father face to face. But that didn't stop him from having a life full of crime and violence. Moving to Athens, Georgia at the age of 16, Fujiano met one of his brothers at this time and started to do home invasions and robberies in wealthy neighborhoods. But all of this robbing and stealing would catch up to Fujiano only at the age of 20 because he got locked up for a home invasion gone wrong, leaving him in prison for a little bit over three years. On December 2013, on a Monday afternoon, two alleged burglars were arrested by Athens Clark police officers to a report of two men acting suspicious in a west side neighborhood. A witness called 911 at about 1.15 p.m. to report that two men were dropped off by a red car on Lake Overdrive, then disappeared behind the residence, police said. An officer stopped the car on Lake Forest Drive, while the other officer spotted two suspects jump from the window of the home and took off running down Lake Overdrive. According to police, they were arrested after a foot chase in a near middle school off Tallisay Road. After questioning, police arrested three men, including Fujiano, with burglary possession of burglary tools and obstruction of law enforcement. The driver was 17 and was charged with burglary and alteration of a license plate, police said. Plus, the burglary was interrupted before anything could be stolen. Fujiano went to do three years in prison for this burglary. He says he was writing a lot of poems throughout that time after an inmate told him he should do music after hearing one of his poems. He says he was even trapping in jail, getting out at the age of 24. And when Fujiano got out, he began to take rap more serious, going back and forth to the studio consistently. And after doing some songs and seeing his true potential, Fujiano decided to take it to the next level, doing a concert contest for $10,000. And Fujiano ended up winning the contest and got signed to a label named Authentic Empire Music Group, ran by an artist named Boon Man. Without further ado, Fujiano, come get your money, man. And then Fujiano went to drop his biggest hit of today, named Molly. And he was talking about his baby mother at the time while he was mad at her. And this song today has over 57 million views. Then Fujiano went to drop Trapper, which has over 4.6 million views. And after that, he put Lil Baby on the song for a remix. And that remix today has over 17 million views. And all of these views and a new style he had 
brought the attention of Gucci Man, and Gucci Man ended up signing him around March of 2020 for one million dollars. He even got him his own chains and some bust down watches. And being the first artist to sign the Gucci Man's new label brought him even more attention. And at this time, Gucci Man was searching for more artists and signed the rapper named Pooh Shiesty. Them two collabing together made the internet go crazy and turned the whole 1017 up, collabing on songs like Lesson, Lightning, and First Day Out in LA. But around July 2020, Fujiano was involved in a shooting that left 10 people shot and two people dead. Fujiano hasn't been charged with anything, but one of his associates has been charged with two counts of murder and seven counts of attempted murder for a shooting that happened during Fujiano's performance. Greenville County Sheriff's Department said the shooting started when a member of Fujiano's entourage who was on stage showed a gang sign to the crowd. That person was later identified as Jarquise Cooper. Cooper then pulled out a gun and started firing shots from the stage into the crowd. This incident left Michaela Bell, a mother of two, only 23 years of age, dead, and a 51-year-old security guard that worked at the club. Fujiano is currently facing a lawsuit for this incident. Another time Fujiano was arrested was back in December 6, 2020 in Burrow County, Georgia, when police stopped his Chrysler 300 and found a Glock 19 pistol with a laser beam. According to the police department, Fujiano admitted the gun was his and said he was a famous rapper and must have a gun because rappers get shot. Fujiano was sent to Greensboro County Jail until December 14th because the gun charge violated his probation from the burglary charge he had from back in the day. Fujiano was freed after posting a $50,000 cash bond and forced to wear a ankle monitor so cops could keep track of his every move. But Fujiano must have been tired of being under 24 hour surveillance because police say they found his melted off ankle monitor on the side of the highway two weeks ago and has not been seen since. It's been about three though so far and Fujiano has been posting consistently on social media to where as though some fans wouldn't even know he's wanted at the moment. Gucci Mane hasn't made any comments about this situation, but hopefully his situation go good because he's a great artist and has a lot of potential. Plus, Fujiano has one kid at the moment and a baby mother, and y'all can kind of figure how their relationship is due to the song Molly. But that'll be about it for Fujiano. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments who y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah. I'm out.